today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a tag video. This tag video is called, I have to check this up as normal, the makeup lookbook tag and it is created by Melissa Gold. She also tagged me to do this and I'm finally doing it. I've been trying to do this for so long but it was hard. Uh, so these are, I'm going to show you some looks. So I'm going to scooch a little bit and put up pictures here on the looks. So I'm going to show you different looks and I have taken looks from my Instagram. And if you hear something, it is Astrid. She's lying right in front of me. And she is a little bit crazy right now. So I'm going to look down pretty often because I need to both check the questions and also see which pictures I'm talking about. So the first is a makeup look with your favorite color. And I... This was a little bit hard for me, but I picked this one. This was a monochromatic red look I did a while ago. I love red eyeshadow, I love red lips. So I was like, okay, <laughs> either it has to be an orange, red or yellow look. But I really, really like this red look I did. And I want to do more monochromatic looks. I think it's fun and the... The shade I used the most was uh, uh, from Kaleido's Cyber Bronze, a red shade. I love that red shade. So yeah, this is the look I, look I have picked. Next question, a makeup look with your favorite color combination. And I picked this. Of course, it is a red, orange and yellow look with red lips. I didn't film this look, I think. And I just sat down, played with my favorite colors, and I just love it. But this was actually a bit hard because I love to use like blue together with orange. Astrid. She can't hear me. But I picked this as my favorite color combination because I can never go wrong with these colors. I just, I just love them. Next, next look is my go-to eye look and I don't use makeup on a daily basis so I was thinking about is there any makeup look that I've done more than say five times and yes it's this one. I don't always use the same shades but I always use the same colors so I always do like a black with a gold. If I'm going out to eat, I do this. If I'm going to... When one of my friends had a birthday party, I did this. I really like this look. It goes really fast and I think it's... I really like it. Even though it might be boring, but... I just love this look. And I can use whatever lipstick I want to. I can go with a really neutral lipstick if I want to. I can go with more pinkish if I want to. I can go with the red if I want to. So I really like this look and this has to be my go-to eye look because I've done it so many times. A makeup look that was outside my comfort zone and it has to be this green look that I did in a collab with Yulia, one of my friends and I was going to do one look that was inspired by one of her looks and she picked this for me and I never do like this wing shape. It was hard and I think I succeeded but it felt so strange to take like the shadow so high up. I like how it turned out but I don't know if it is my style. I haven't done makeup in that way. <laughs> after that but I don't know I don't know if I like it or not but th this was out of my comfort zone then the next look was also a little bit hard it's an unusual makeup technique yeah. I nine times out of ten I do the same but I picked this look and what is unique with this unique for me at least is that I used to
Okay, where was I? Uh, an unusual makeup. An unusual makeup technique. And what is unusual for me with this makeup technique is I used one green and one red pen as a base. I never do that. I always use an eyeshadow primer because I know how eyeshadow primer works. I know that my eyeshadow will stay on. But I really wanted to try this and I think it turned out good. It was hard though. It would be so much easier to just take a glitter primer instead of taking the two pens I did. But it worked out. I really liked it look. I made it like a Christmas look. And yeah, it turned out good, but <laughs> I think I will never do that again. Next up is a bridal look and uh, this was hard. I am not married. And I have been to weddings, I have been a bridesmaid, but it's hard for me because I want something that look good in like pictures if I ever going to get married, I don't know. I picked this look. I don't know though if I would have it as a bridal look, but I really like it. I would change the lipstick though and maybe tone it down a little bit. I usually don't do that tone down look. I love my colorful eyeshadow. But I think something like this I would do. I would like to have something more than like lashes. So maybe something like this. Maybe a little bit darker brown and then some shimmer to it. Maybe a little hint of orange. And maybe a red lip. Okay, this has to be the hardest. Uh, my favorite look of all times. First I was like, okay. How many should I take? But I only picked one. And this maybe surprised you a little bit. But it is a green and gold look. It's this look that I did with the Zodiac palette. In my Zodiac here that I had last year. I think it's the color Gemini. I love that shade. I love it so freaking much. And just with the green and then the red lip, it was just, I loved that look. I have it at my profile picture on Instagram still, even though it's one year old. I really like it. I would love to do that look again. And it is absolutely one of my favorite looks. Everything just went on so good. They paired so good and I really, really, really like it. Next up is my worst makeup look and I haven't even posted this on Instagram and I don't think it is that bad. Now it was a long time since I saw it. I'm going to put in the picture here. The, the thing I don't like with this is I did a palette bingo that went to shit. I just hated that palette bingo. And that's why I don't like this look. It's maybe not that bad as I think it is, but I, I don't like it. Not at all. Next up is my most expensive look and most expensive face of makeup. And I... Okay, how, how should I say this? So, okay, I live in Sweden, as you may know, and like all the palettes I order from the US is going to be expensive because it's high shipping on the most of the things and also I have to buy pay customs. So it's hard for me, like a palette that isn't expensive is really expensive for me because of the shipping and everything. And I usually don't use that expensive face things. But I took this look and my foundation on that isn't that expensive because pff, I don't use expensive foundation but I used the Natasha Bloom palette for my blush and I also used Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and I used the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette with, which is kind of expensive and uh, Makeup Geek shadows and yeah <sighs> not that expensive but like I was checking through and I'm like, I don't have any expensive foundation, concealer, not any expensive powders or anything. So I took this look because it is 
pretty much money in this look. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, if I see what I have for things. Then it is my least expensive face of makeup, and it has to be this one. Uh, it's maybe a little bit expensive primer, but it's a sheep foundation, a sheep blush, a sheep highlighter, Colourpop palette. So yeah, it has to be this one. I really like this look. I did it with the Yes Please palette from Colourpop. So I think this has to be my least expensive. I just know it has to be something with Colourpop because Colourpop palettes are pretty cheap for me, even though I have to pay customs for it. And the last question is a makeup that is, mm, yeah, makeup inspired by someone else. And I like, I can't take the Yulia inspired makeup look once again. So I actually took this look. This is inspired by Beetlejuice. And this was the only thing I can come up with. I really like how this look turned out. It was a collab with my friend Anya. And it was so fun. I did like more blown out eyeshadow than I usually do. I did a green blush and then I did a topper on my black lipstick. This was such a fun look. It was so, so fun to do. And I really love how it turned out. And I even like did my nails like Beetlejuice, green and black. And I'm really happy with this look. And it is inspired by Beetlejuice. And that is how I'm going to answer this question. And yeah, that was actually all for this tag. Thank you so much, Melissa, for tagging me. It was a really fun tag, even though it was pretty hard because it's hard to choose. Maybe I would say something different in like one hour or two, but I have dragged this out for so long to do this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sit down and really go through my Instagram because I want to take a post like all of my makeup looks on Instagram. So I wanted to see and yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you have a YouTube channel or if you just have an Instagram or something, do this tag. I think it was really fun and it will be so fun to see what other people feel about their makeup. So thank you so much, Melissa. It was a really fun tag. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!